Hey guys, Kamina the coach here. Guess whose 41st birthday it is. So in honor of my 41st birthday on January 16th, I am going to talk about what in the world your age has to do with working and living abroad. Um, mostly this has to do with um, those who are working for companies and entities that are from within the country. If you're working for an American company, I, I suppose it doesn't matter. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive into that. I'd like to make a PSA before I get started. Dear Americans, stop feeling like everywhere you go should adapt to you because we're from the greatest country in the world. Just stop it, guys. <laughs> Do your best to adapt to the culture where you are. And if you don't feel like you're flexible, maybe consider not coming abroad right now. It's really embarrassing um, to hear Americans say um, they should just learn English or why doesn't anybody speak English or this country is just too conservative for me or there's nothing for me to eat here. You're not in your country. So that's part of living abroad. So tone it down a little bit, Americans. It's embarrassing. Moving on. <laughs> So what does age have to do with working and living abroad if you're working for a, a company that's that's actually inside of the country that you're working for? So in some of the very third worldish countries in Southeast Asia, this won't make a difference because they're just not developed enough. They don't have the infrastructure enough uh, yet to care. But um, countries uh, like those in the GCC, in the Gulf Coast um region and um, China for sure, countries like this are going to put an age limit on those that they'll hire. And that I know of, there's two reasons for this. Um, so, um, well, three reasons actually. So some will put an age limit, some, some is um, a company imposed age limit. And a lot of times that has to do with well, they're trying to market to the parents. Um, if it's an education company, they're marketing to the parents and they feel that very young teachers are more attractive to look at. So um, I've seen age caps at like 30, 35. Well, I know I don't qualify for that. But <laughs> um, in general, those really young age caps, that's um, in general what it's for. Where I was in Mexico, there wasn't necessarily an age cap, but they wanted younger teachers. Why? Because it was a really harsh um, environment to work in. Uh, the, the temperatures were really, really, really high. So they felt that younger workers were going to be able to adjust to the temperatures better. Um, a lot of walking in the heat. So they just felt like um, I, that younger teachers were going to be better suited to that. So um, more attractive, number one, healthier. So a lot of places provide you health insurance. Um, and it's by law that a lot of these places will provide you health insurance. Well, it, younger just equals healthier. And that's just part of what it is. 40 was a great emotional year for me, but definitely physically, I felt quite a bit of decline in my, in my physical well-being. So um, that's a big part of it. A part of it is, is how you are going to be able to hold up physically. So how you look, physical well-being. A lot of times um, it has to do with a government cap on age um, for the visa and the government will not offer a first-time visa for somebody who is over, let's say, 50 or 55. 50, 55 are the age caps that I've heard. Now, if you've already managed to get into a place and they're just renewing your visa, I do know of teachers who've been able to stay past that, that cap. But um, in general, 
quite a few countries, governments have capped who they will give a working visa to. They feel like, um, I suppose, that these people are a health risk. So, um, yeah, so uh, looks, um, visa, um, look, visa, oh, health. Yep, looks, visa, and health. So um, instead of getting your feathers all wrinkled, just look for someplace else. Um, keep looking, there are places that will make exceptions or revamp your plan. Um, so, of course, there's always going to be an exception to the rule. I'd be very, very careful entering someplace illegally, especially uh, someplace like China or the Middle East. I would be, um, especially in this day and age, I'd be wildly careful about that. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. And again, Americans, learn how to be a bit more flexible. Uh, you are not in your country anymore. <laughs> so, until next time, Camina the Coach wishing you love, light, peace, joy, and happiness. I'm out.